Sports Network. minutes to wear time. This is the Skyhawk Sports Network.
Caldwell Insurance Agency. Let our family help protect your family and buy Parmar stores. If there is not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. And now let's go courtside with all the action of tonight's game. Here is the voice of the Skyhawks, Joe Limpel. Thank you very much, Steve Green. We are on top side. We are overlooking the floor here from the Hawks Nest at Scott High School tonight where the 5 and 15 Sissonville Indians have made their way from Kanawha County into the Hawks Nest tonight to take on the 12 and 9 Scott Scouts. Join me tonight is Andrew Lindell and Andrew, uh, you know, you get two teams like this that know each other fairly well, uh, you know, should have a pretty decent ball game. Yeah, it uh, Sissonville's record it doesn't show very good, but uh, you know they come to play. It's you know towards the end of the season, teams are getting ready for postseason, so might have a hard fought game tonight. Yeah, they've had some uh, wins over uh, looks like Roan County, wins over Independence, a couple of wins over Sherman, and uh, they've lost their last two games, just like the Skyhawks have lost their last two against Ripley and uh, Sherman. We had a chance to catch up with Coach Sean Ballard, the uh, head coach of the Scott Scouts, and let's hear what he had to say about uh, finishing up tonight's game and going into the sectionals next week. Welcome back to the Palm Bar Stores. Free game show joining us now as the head coach of the Skyhawks, Coach Sean Ballard. And Coach, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the season. Uh, you come into the game tonight with uh, uh, 12 and 9, probably maybe a little disappointing. And, you know, I know you had a couple of injuries there that kind of plagued your team a few weeks ago, but how do you feel like where you're at now? Yeah, we, we expected to have more wins on the season than, than what we did for sure. But, you know, even in some of the losses, we've had some bright spots and, and some things to build on. And, you know, the, go the goal is not to win, you know, 15 games, 18 games. The goal is to get better throughout the season and be ready to play your best when the postseason gets here. And, you know, I think we're close to doing that. We've got a week to prepare and clean some things up and, um, you know, Every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen. To get to the bottom of a diagnosis. To teach. To care. When you choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health. We're bringing medicine home. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. I'm your football obsessed best man, and I think you having your big day during the big game is the worst. What, are you kidding me? Physically, I'm right here, but mentally, I'm here. Yeah, I do, come on, speed it up. When all eyes are on you, my eyes are glued to the game. Whoa! Touchdown, yeah! <laughs> and if you didn't bundle your home and auto insurance with all of this, this could be tough to tackle. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem. <laughs> like me you have a goal you know what you want start with us new river community and technical college your community college take classes online or in a classroom in beaver lewisburg Summersville, or princeton or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal it's closer than you think when you start with us new river community and technical college apply today it's it, it'll it'll come down to you know it. walgreens find rx coverage is here to make medicare easy even easier than those dances your grandkids love doing with okay, you <laughs> start medicare shopping today with walgreens find rx coverage plus find low-cost co-pays when you need to talk medicare walgreens is here Walgreens. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care
care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen. To get to the bottom of a diagnosis. To teach. To care. You choose Boone. You choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health. We're bringing medicine home. Every year, the big banks raise their fees while reducing the services they provide. How do they get away with that? If you were to join Pioneer Community Bank, your money would stay right here, supporting a local business which results in lower fees and better customer service for you. Sounds like a plan. So you're not really stuck with the big banks and their policies. Keep your money where it belongs, right here with Pioneer Community Bank. Pioneer Community Bank with locations in Beckley, Jaeger, Sophia, Moore, and Welch. Member FDIC. ZAC and the Skyhawk Sports Network. I'm Jeremy Caldwell, owner of Caldwell Insurance Agency. We recently purchased SW Richards Agency located in Denver. We provide insurance with Erie amongst West Virginia's other top carriers to find the best price and the best policy for each client. We support local businesses because it's what puts cleats on a child's feet, money into a college fund, and it's what supports local families. Caldwell Insurance Agency, located on Fifth Avenue in Danville. Let our family help protect your family. If you're in the market for a new ride, you'll find that there are many good reasons to buy your next car at Stevens. That's right, Stevens Auto Center in Danville. Maybe the reason is our great selection of new Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram vehicles that are on sale every day. Or maybe it's the new Fords that are arriving daily. And maybe it's a used vehicle. We have an awesome selection with over 200 to choose from. Shop us online all the time at StevensAuto.com or come see us at Stevens Auto Center in Danville. Why pay high rent when you can own your own home? Home ownership is well within your reach at Clayton Homes. Stop in and visit Angie Wolf, Charlie Mitchell, or Peyton Copley to see how affordable a new home can be. Why pay high rent when owning your own home can be more affordable than you imagine? At Clayton Homes, located between Danville and Chapinville on US 119. Clayton Homes, opening doors to a better life, one home at a time. Hey, this is Dave Allen for Parmar Stores with some exciting news. By now, I'm sure you know Parmar Stores commitment to the youth of the state of West Virginia. That's why we're proud to announce a unique partnership Parmar Stores has entered into with the West Virginia Secondary Schools Activities Commission. Effective immediately, Parmar is the official store of high school sports in West Virginia. You'll be seeing much more of us at your local stadiums and gyms. We are committed to serving our communities and our student athletes. Be listening for more details to come. And remember, if there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. WZAC-FM, Danville, Madison. Welcome back to the Hawk's Nest. We are among the pep band. Here we <laughs> are again. Tell, yep. Here we are again. And, uh, of course, also tonight is senior night. There's six members of the Scott High School boys basketball team that were honored uh, prior to going on the air tonight. There was uh, two of the ladies Skyhawks. They were supposed to have been honored last night. However, Sherman... Uh, called over and canceled the game at the last minute. They were having dinner here at the school before the game, and Sherman called and said they weren't coming. So they were honored tonight, and also uh, Gabe Markham. He, he's the mascot, uh, does some other things around the school for the basketball teams and so forth. He was honored as well. So, And coming up at the half, we will have interviews with uh, Jenna Butcher, Gracie Griggs, and also Coach Sean Ballard about the senior boys I know if I tried to do six interviews with those guys, we'd be on there all night long. Yeah, they take the whole show. Yeah, yeah absolutely. On and on and going and going. But those those kids, you know, a lot. I know a lot of those kids. I've known them since they were born. Uh, I guess I'm getting old, and that makes you even older. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, but yeah, it's good to see them on a senior night tonight. Like I said, you know, we had the two Lady Hawks. We had, uh, for the boys, we had Lincoln Burnside, Reese Carden, uh, Caden Clemens, uh, Hunter Knoll, Isaac Setzer, and Jay Sharps. That'll be our six uh, honorees tonight. You know, and, and you think about it, you play basketball for a team like this for four years, knowing this could possibly be your last game at home. That's sentimental. Oh, absolutely. You know, obviously, I didn't play basketball. I'm a little too big for that, I guess, but I played football <laughs> when I remember the last uh, the last home game. Oh, I do, too. You yeah. stayed there all night. Yeah, I know. They want to go home, but, uh, yeah, it means a lot to these kids for sure. You know, it's just like last night. The, the two girls, especially the seniors, were very uh, disappointed that the game wasn't going to be played because uh, they knew that was going to be their last game because their sectional game 
uh, has already been determined. They will play on the road at Lincoln County Tuesday night. We'll go ahead and step aside. We'll take a two-minute break, and we'll be back with the tip and the introduction to the starting lineup for tonight's ball game after this. You're listening to the Skyhawk Sports Network on WZAC, the Skyhawk Sports Network and video production. Introducing Boone Memorial Health. Welcome to Allstate, where you can pay a little less and enjoy the ride a little more. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate, because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. At Little General Stores, we'll be there when you're ready. Even if you're returning home for the first time in years. That is why we offer the LG Rewards Card. It'll save you money on your favorite convenience store purchases. Or even get you free drinks or coffee. Allowing you the time to plan that perfect return. Go plan yours today. And when you need us, we'll be there. Thank you to those who serve. So the LG family can serve you. Little General Stores. Your road's neighbor. Nachos, better with Pepsi. <sighs> when it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Mm. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> In the Skyhawk Sports Network. Welcome back to the Hawks Nest for tonight. The Scott Skyhawks. Sixth, ranked sixth in class AAA in the state of West Virginia. Come into the night with a record of 12 and 9. Host the Sissonville Indians, coached by Derek Godwin. They come into the game tonight at 5 and 15. We're not sure who the starting lineup yet is going to be for Sissonville. We do have them for Scott. Uh, real quickly, for the Skyhawks, it'll be Jay Sharps, Reese Carden, Hunter Knoll, Isaac Sitzer, and Caden Clements. That's five of the six seniors. And what they did to determine, apparently they had a uh, free throw shooting contest yesterday. And unfortunately, Lincoln Burnside came up on the losing end. He doesn't get to start tonight as the other five seniors get it. Oh, man, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's just the way you go. That's the fair way to do it. It is. He, going. Apparently, he just had a tough night and came up on the short stick, as the old saying goes. So, anyway, we are going to have uh, the national anthem and then the starting lineup. So, uh, we will step aside for a two-minute break, and then we'll be back with the starting lineups after this. You're listening to the Skyhawk Sports Network on WZAC and video productions. It's the year in. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen. To get to the bottom of a diagnosis. To teach. To care. When you choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health. We're bringing medicine home. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. I'm your football obsessed best man, and I think you having your big day during the big game is the worst. What are you kidding me? Physically, I'm right here, but mentally, I'm here. Yeah, I do. Come on, speed it up. When all eyes are on you, my eyes are glued to the game. Whoa! 
touchdown, yeah. <laughs> and if you didn't bundle your home and auto insurance, well, all of this, this could be tough to tackle. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. <laughs> like me. You have a goal. You know what you want. Start with us. New River Community and Technical College, your community college. Take classes online or in a classroom in Beaver, Lewisburg, Summersville, or Princeton. Or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs. Find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal. It's closer than you think when you start with us. New River Community and Technical College. Apply today. 92 in the Skyhawk Sports Network. Welcome back to the Hawks Nest, where the introduction has just been given for the Sissonville Indians. Getting the start for them tonight will be junior 6'1", Jake Wiseman, a junior, Tanner Griffith, another junior, Ethan Taylor, a freshman, 5'8", Blake Fisher, and a 5'11", sophomore, Finn Smith. And getting the starting lineup tonight, getting the start for the Scott Scouts, will be 6'3", senior, I'm sorry, 6'5", senior, Caden Clinton, 6'2", senior, Isaac Setzer, 6'4", senior, Hunter Noll, 6'3", senior, Reese Harden, and 6'1", senior, Jay Sharps. That'll be your starting lineups for tonight for Coach Sean Ballard and the 12 and 9, Scott Skyhawks. The officials are on the floor. The Skyhawks have made their way back to the bench. And Sissonville tonight wearing all black. Red numerals. And the Skyhawks wearing all white tonight with uh, gold numerals trimmed in black. And coming out to do the jumping for the Skyhawks will be number 55, 6'5", Caden Clemens making jump for Sissonville will be number 20, 5'11", Ben Smith. We are ready to get this game under started, game underway and started, I should say. Fisher walks out to center court. He's ready to toss the ball. Ball is in the air, and Sissonville will take control of the basketball. With the ball is Wiseman out in the center circle, trying to set something up for the Indians. Over to the left wing, back across the floor, back out to center court, all the way around, back in the hands of number 20, a long shot off the iron. It will not go. Rebound comes up by Jay Sharps. Here come the Scouts. Sharps over to Setzer. Over the right corner goes Reese Carden for three, and he hits it. Yeah, that's good. He got him over in the corner. He had a little contested shot, but he, he made it happen. Full court pressure being applied by the Skyhawks. Indians trying to work the ball up the floor. They get it back over to Smith and around the horn. A long shot once again taken this time by Griffith. It will not go. Scott comes up with the rebound, and the ball is lost by Scott under the basket. Sissonville takes the loose ball with the ball for Sissonville is Griffith. He works it around to Smith. Smith across the way to Fisher. Fisher brings it back out. Jumper at the free throw line by Jake Wiseman. Will not go. Scott comes up once again the rebound. Reese Carden in the right wing. Takes it over. Looking to make something happen. Sends it back out to Setzer. Setzer back to Carden. Carden fires off a long three and it goes. He's getting hot already. Back-to-back -back three pointers for Reese Carden, and we already have a timeout by Coach Derek Godwin and the Sissonville Indians. We'll keep it here as it will be a 30-second timeout. As you said, Reese Carden needed to get hot. He was injured there. Uh, he missed like five and a half, six games, and he he's really never gotten back. He comes out strong, but then it seems like it. You know, I don't know if he loses confidence in that right ankle or whatever. But you can see already tonight, he's got two shots. He's got six points, and the scouts lead this one six nothing. Yeah, absolutely. He's, it's good for him to get hot, uh, get back in rhythm, uh, get ready for the section that's coming up soon. Yeah, because it. Uh, you know, you've got uh, Logan, Lincoln County. Uh, Wayne, it, it's hard to tell. The sectional is better than the tournament. Yeah, pretty much. Austin. Full court pressure being applied by the Skyhawks as the Indians inbound it. And we have a travel by the Indians in front of their own bench. 
That will turn the ball over to Scott under their own basket. Jay Sharps goes out of bounds for Scott. Sharps looking. And he puts it in the hands of Caden Clemens and a quick two points. So Scott jumps out to an 8-0 lead. Full-court pressure still being applied by Scott as the Indians bring the ball up the floor over to the left wing. Into the hands of Griffith. Griffith sends it back around, and they lose the handle on the ball, and it will be turned over to Scott once again. Kind of looked like the Mountaineers. He just threw it to nobody. <laughs> oh, don't even go. <laughs> Setzer brings the ball across midcourt in the hands of Hunter Noll. Carden fires off a three-quarter shot. It goes nothing but net. Three threes, nine points for Paul Carden as Scott leads this one 11 to nothing. Full court pressure once again being applied by the Skyhawks. Shot taken by number two. Griffith will not go. Rebounded by Setzer. Carden has it once again between the circles. He'll back out of it. He'll go left, puts it in the hands of Hunter Noll, back out to Setzer, into the left corner for Carden, and I'll be daggone if he didn't hit another one. He's going around the circle. Four three-pointers already, 12 points for Reese Carden. Full-court pressure still being applied by the Skyhawks, and they will knock it out of bounds in front of the score stand, and it will be Lincoln Burnside checking into the lineup. Another senior for Scott. He'll give somebody a break as Ben Smith has the ball trying to set something up for the Indians. Back out between the circles is Fisher. Fisher over to Wiseman, back around, and they put the ball on the floor. Back to number two is Griffith, top of the key. Thinks about it, but he hands it off to one of his players. It will be overshot, rebounded, and a shot from the corner, and it will go for three by number 20. Ben Smith. Finally, Sissonville is getting some offense running. Paul Reese Carden with another one. This one off the front of the end, off the front of the rim goes out of bounds. He shot that one from the score stand. Well, I think he was closer on that one than he was the last. <laughs> he may have been. Inbounding uh, the ball will be Sissonville. Here come the Indians with the ball up the floor. Bringing the ball up is Ethan Taylor. Taylor goes to the left wing. Puts it in the hand of Smith. Smith comes out looking for some help. Sends it back out to Wiseman. Back over to Griffith. Griffith goes right wing, finds a little hole, sends it out to the right wing. Into the hands of Taylor. Taylor brings it up. Now they fire it into the corner. Number, number Another three-point shot taken by Griffith. Rebounded by Setzer. Setzer brings the ball down the floor for Scott. Back into the hands of Carden. Carden back to Setzer. Round the horn. And from the near side, it will be Jay Sharps taking a three-pointed tip. It will not go. Goes out of bounds, and it will be Scott's ball under their own basket. Sharps will inbound for the Skyhawks. Carden, three-pointer, got rolls around, will not go. Lincoln Burnside with the rebound. Tries to put it up one-handed, and it will not go. Nice save by Setzer in front of the main entrance. Puts it into the hands of Carden. Carden off the back of the glass. Two more points for Reese Carden. Putting some long ones up, but he's got to get in there and uh, get a layup in there once in a while. Sissonville has the ball down the floor, has it over on the left wing. In the hands of Fisher. Fisher brings it around to Taylor. Taylor goes one-on-one with Setzer out at midcourt. And they're going to get Jay Sharps on... Or that do they charge shots? Sets or sets or wow! I don't know what a kid that his kid was thinking. I mean, set for set. I think set there. He was had his back to the kid. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. put him on the ground. Sissonville inbounds it, and they lose the ball. Setzer comes up with it underneath the basket, over to Setzer, into Reese Carden. Another one off the glass. Two more points for Reese Carden. Yeah, he's getting underneath. They got they can't they gotta guard him outside and inside. He's got 16 of the 18 points so far for the Skyhawks. 3 oh, 4 to go here in the first quarter. Sissonville over to the right wing. They'll fire off a long two, and it will go for number 20, Ben Smith. He has five points in the ball game. Looks like Sissonville setting up for a changeup like in hockey. They got five guys at the scores table. Reese Carden out near midcourt with the ball, trying to set something up for the Skyhawks. 
Back to the left wing to Setzer. Setzer takes it around the horn. Jay Sharps has it. He'll drive into the paint, back out to the outer part of the circle. Reese Carden now takes it. Pump stops, floats one off the glass, too strong. Rebound by Hunter Noll, put back up, and two points for Noll and the Scout. Scout lead at 20 to 5, 220 to go in the first quarter. Bringing the ball down the floor is Ethan Taylor for the Indians. He'll go right wing into the hands of Smith. Smith keeps it, drives it in, and he will put two more off the back of the glass. They left the lane wide open for him to drive the basket. Yes, they did. Sharps has the ball, sends it back out to Reese Carden. Carden goes out to the center circle, comes to the top of the key. He still has the ball, flips it back to Setzer. Setzer drives into the paint, over to Carden in the corner, 4-3, and it will not go. It'll be a little short off the iron. Sissonville will come up with the rebound. Bringing the ball down the floor for the Indians is Wiseman. He'll stop, float, try to get the ball off, and he sends the ball over into the corner. A three-point attempt will not go for Griffith off the iron, but it'll be Wiseman getting the rebound, putting the ball back up for two more. 20 to nine, Scott Sleeve with 124 to go here in the first quarter. Carden has it, puts it in the null. Null in the paint, puts it over to Lincoln Burnside for two more points. Looks like Sissonville's pulled their change up, back off and put them back on the bench, so they're gonna stick with the starters here. Indians have the ball down on their end of the floor. Back and forth they go, trying to get something set up. In the corner, right corner, long shot over shot by number 20, Ben Smith. Scouts come up the rebound. With the ball is Setzer. Setzer puts it in the hands of Carden. Carden drives into the paint, bounces it on the floor to Burnside, back out to Jay Sharps, off the back of the iron. And about three or four black jerseys went against Burnside. They just kind of knocked him out of the way. Sissonville comes up with the rebound. Here comes down the floor is Smith. He'll send it over to the left wing. It'll come up short on the shot. Rebound is Lincoln Burnside. Carden has the ball. He'll send it all the way over the floor to Jay Sharps. Sharps into Setzer. Setzer back out to Sharps, back over the left wing. Two Sharps into the paint, back to Setzer. Setzer thought about taking a three. Now he'll send it over to Sharps' right corner. It'll be off the back of the iron, and Sissonville will come up the rebound. Indians take the ball down. They'll try one from the corner, and it will not go by T- uh, Tanner Griffith. That's the end of the first quarter as the Skyhawks lead this one by a score of 22 to 9. We'll take a one-minute break. We'll be back after this on the Skyhawks Sports Network, WZAC, and Video Productions. Walgreens Find Rx coverage is here to make Medicare easy. Even easier than those dances your grandkids love doing with you. (laughs) Start Medicare shopping today with Walgreens Find Rx coverage. Plus, find low cost co pays. When you need to talk Medicare, Walgreens is here. (laughs) Walgreens. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen. To get to the bottom of a diagnosis. To teach. To care. You choose Boone. You choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health. We're bringing medicine home. As the Skyhawks lead this one by a score of 22-9, Reese Carden has 16 of those 22 points uh, for the Skyhawks, and uh, it looks like Scott will inbound it and hold control of the ball as we head into the second quarter. Hopefully Sissonville realized what was going on and put five guys on Reese Carden. Carden into Burnside, and a tie on the ball at the top of the key. The possession area is pointing toward the Indians, and they will get the ball. They'll inbound it at the score stand across the floor. Bringing the ball down the floor for the Indians is number 10, Evan Taylor. Jumper taken by number 44, Nathan Taylor. They'll pick up two points. Here come the scouts. Sets her with the ball across midcourt. He'll go to the right wing. Now he'll turn, come to the left wing. He'll drive into the paint. 
They'll send it back out to Sharps. Sharps into Burnside. Burnside back over to Clemens, all the way back out to Setzer at the top of the key. Here comes Setzer could not hold on to it. He says it got knocked out of his hands by Sissonville, but the officials don't see it that way. Sissonville Indian basketball. Here come the Indians bringing the ball up the floor. Over to the near side. They've got some new in the lineup, Brody Scott. Scott sends it back over to Taylor. Taylor sends it down into the left corner, back out to Taylor. Taylor drives it in the paint, a long jumper, off the iron, will not go. Reese Carden rebound. Here come the Scouts. Carden across midcourt, shoots it down to Jay Sharps. Sharps over to Setzer, hands it off to Reese Carden. Carden between the circles, goes to the top of the key. Bounces it on the floor to Burnside. Jay Sharps back out to Reese Carden, a long three taken, and Reese Carden has another three-pointer for the Scouts. Getting uh, fired up all the way from say, already for the second quarter. Sissonville with the ball. Down on their end of the floor with the ball is Brody Scott. He'll send it across the way and driving it back to Scott. Scott fires off a three off the front of the iron, and Caden Clemens comes up with the rebound, hands it off to Setzer. Setzer bounces on the floor to uh, Burnside, and Lincoln Burnside will pick up his second basket of the ball game. Here come the Indians quickly down the floor with the ball is Evan Taylor. He'll send it over to the left wing, and it is number 15, Brody Scott, picking up a three-point jumper. 27-14, Scott Sleet. It was six minutes to go in the first half. Setzer at the top of the key. Sends it over to the near side to Sharps. Back to Setzer. Setzer right outside. Bounces it into Burnside. Back to Setzer. Setzer out to Sharps. He'll take a long three. Nothing but net for Jay Sharps. Finally getting some points out of Sharps. It's good for him. That's his first three points of the ball game. Indians have the ball on their end of the floor. Quickly, once again, Brody Scott giving directions. Back over to the near side to Taylor. Back across the way into the paint. And taking a jumper with the shot is Wante, Wante Evans. He'll miss it. Scott comes up with the rebound and the ball. Reese Carden on the right wing. Carden tries to drive it in. Jay Sharps comes up with it. He'll send it out to Setzer at the top of the key. He'll go right. Caden Clemens has it back to Jay Sharps. He'll fire off a three off the back of the iron, and the Indians will rebound Brody Scott. Here comes Sissonville with the ball. Scott trying to get something set up. He'll send it over to Evan Taylor. Back to Scott. Long three-point taken off the back of the iron. Rebound, Reese Carden. Here come the Skyhawks once again. Carden across the half-court line. He'll go right, top of the key. He'll fire it in to Carden. Carden off the glass, he'll pick up two more. I'm sorry, Lincoln Burnside picks up two more. He has six points in the ball game. Sissonville has the ball on their end of the floor. Thinking about taking a shot is Michael Taylor. He'll send it back out to Evans. Evans at the top of the key, back to the right corner. Fires off a shot and it will go. It'll be a three pointer for Michael Taylor. He has five points in the second quarter. Reese Carden has the ball, top of the key. Send it to the far wing, to Setzer, back out. Oh, and they're saying Sharp stepped on the line. I think he was well, bumped. He did, but he was put. <laughs> I would think he was bumped out of bounds, but the turnover will go to the Sissonville Indians. 4-0-4 to go in the second quarter. Skyhawks lead at 32-17. Yeah, uh, got to get something on number 44 because he's, uh, he's dragging some points in there from the bench for sure. Bringing the ball down the floor. Yeah, number taking the shot is 44. He'll overshoot it. Setzer will with the rebound. He'll knock it in the no. Here comes Setzer with the ball. Setzer down to the left corner. Going to, oh, what a shot. He puts too much power on it. Number 33, Owen Atkins gets a heck of a shot and two points for Scott. Here comes a jumper at the free throw line and a foul against number 10, Taylor, Evan Taylor. And I believe the foul is on. Is, it, is that on it's Owen? Owen, yeah. Owen, yeah, Owen, Owen. I believe Evan, so. I he believe would. it is. Two. Tell me thing about Sinton up here. Did he miss that number 10? Yeah, he missed that. Evan Taylor at the free throw line. He missed the first one. Second shot is up, and it will bounce. It will not go. 
Sets her with the rebound. Here comes Scott. Midcourt, top of the key. He'll go right wing to Owen Evans. Evans comes back out, turns, goes the other direction, hands it off to Setzer. Setzer into the hands of, what a shot by Jay Sharps off the glass. Two more, five points for Sharps. Here comes Scott with the ball for, actually Evans will drive the ball into the glass and it is blocked by Isaac Setzer. Evans gets his own rebound. He's bouncing around trying to make something happen. And they keep going in. And now they send it back out to Evans. He'll fire off a three. It goes for three points for Dante Evans. His first points of the ball game. Here comes Setzer with the ball across the timeline. He'll go right wing, top of the key. Turns, goes in the paint. And apparently a foul on the floor against Sissonville, against number zero. Wante Evans, that'll be his first personal. Yeah, Scott's doing a good job by moving the ball, and they're going to continue to do that. Uh, and that's how they're going to create some points, open shots as well. Sets a roll or Cardinal inbound for the Skyhawks. Gets it into Owen Evans. Evans back to Tyler Walls. Tyler Walls gets it to Setzer, back to Walls, all the way back over to the far side to Adkins. Setzer has a wide open key, and he was fouled, I do believe, no whistle on the ball. Indians get the rebound. Yeah, when you're going up for a layup and your body goes <laughs> three foot to the last, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody got against you. Wante Evans with the ball in the paint. Takes the shot way short, and it is bounced. Number 44 tried to bounce it in. Michael Taylor goes out of bounds. Scott will have the ball. Yeah, boo. <laughs> it was clearly Scott's basketball. I think one ref called one way. And oh, okay. other, but. Reese Carden between the circles. He'll go right. He'll stop at the top of the key. And the ball is... Knocked out of bounds, and they're saying the ball will go to Sissonville. 36 20, 152 to go in the half. We'll be talking about seniors coming up at halftime. Bringing the ball down the floor, Ben Smith. He'll try to drive it in. It is blocked by Hunter Knoll and Owen Atkins. And they're going to get the foul against Hunter Knoll. That'll be his first person of the ball game. And number 20, Ben Smith, will go to the free throw line for the first time today. First shot is good. <coughs> Skyhawks lead at 36-21, 1.43 to go in the game. Caden Clements checks back into the game for Hunter Null. Jay Sharps checks into the game for Tyler Walls. At the free throw line is Ben Smith for... Sissonville, he'll not make the second one, and it is knocked out of bounds by Evans of Sissonville. It'll be Scott basketball. Setzer will bring the ball down the floor. 138 to go in the ball game. We're in the first half, rather. Back to Carden. Carden fires off a three at the top of the key. It goes for a three. He is fouled. He'll go to the charity strike for a bonus. Yeah, he throws that up and uh, maybe got a little fall in there, but the guy did get a hand on him, I will say that, for sure. But Carden is uh, getting fired up, ready to go into halftime. You won't believe how many points Carden has. Let's see. Oh, missed that one. He missed the foul shot for the four-point opportunity. Number 44 has the ball. Michael Taylor, he loses it. In the hands of Jay Sharps. Oh, what a move by Sharps. He spins at the bucket, lays it off the glass with two more points and seven points here in the second quarter. And they're going to get a foul on a Scott player. And here's the replay on video productions. Foul goes against Owen Adkins. That'll be his second personal of the ball game. Going back to the charity strike once again is Ben Smith. This will be his six, second chance. First shot is up. It'll bounce in, bounce out. It will not go. He's one for three so far at the free throw line. One ten to go in the first half. 
Smith still at the free throw line. Second shot is up. It will bounce. It will bounce in. He'll be two for four. Here comes Setzer with the ball for Scott. Down to the right wing. Back to the top of the key. Over to the near corner. To oh oh I can't believe no foul. He was fouled twice. But Scott re- hang, hung on to the ball. Cardinal fire off another three. It'll be off the front of the iron, and Sissonville will get the rebound. Here come the Indians with the ball. It'll be Ben Smith with the ball, taking a long three, and it will go for Smith for the three. That'll be his second tray of the first half. 36 seconds to go with Jay Sharps has the ball. Sharps drives into the paint, and he is... Fouled. It looks like number 15 commits the foul. Let's check the officials to make sure. No. This uh, number 44. Is that who they're calling it? That's on? who they called it on. I don't know. He wasn't. <laughs> oh goodness. Jay Sharp's at the free throw line for the first time tonight. First shot is up and good. Eight points in the game so far for Sharps, all of them here in the second quarter. Cole Elkins checks in for Isaac Sitzer. Jay Sharps, second free throw is up, and it is good as well. Nine points for Sharps. 27 seconds. Here comes the Indians. Bringing the ball down the floor. Long jumper will not go. Caden Clemens knocks it into the hand of Cole Elkins. Elkins to Jay Sharps. I can't believe he called a jump ball. Ball rolled over the floor there, and Jay Sharp picked it up, and they call a jump ball. Carden with the ball, right wing. He'll take it. He'll float it in. He'll get fouled. He'll go to the free throw line for two. Committing the foul is number 10, Evan Taylor, who should have about three or four fouls by now. Yeah. By the way, the pep band up here with us tonight, and there's several members of the Sissonville Indian Band playing along with them. And in Reese Carden's first shot is good. He's one for two so far tonight from the charity stripe. And this one is off the front of the iron. Rebound Ben Smith. Here come the Indians with the ball. They'll take the shot off the glass. It will not go. And we're at the end of the first half of play as the Scott Scouts lead the Sissonville Indians by a score of 45 or 44-25 here at the half. We'll step aside for a two-minute break, and we'll be back and talk about our senior players from tonight that were honored here on the Scout Sports Network and video productions. Welcome to Allstate, where you can pay a little less and enjoy the ride a little more. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. At Little General Stores, we'll be there when you're ready. Even if you're returning home for the first time in years. That is why we offer the LG Rewards Card. It'll save you money on your favorite convenience store purchases or even get you free drinks or coffee, allowing you the time to plan that perfect return. Go plan yours today, and when you need us, we'll be there. Thank you to those who serve so the LG family can serve you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Nachos, better with Pepsi. (sighs) When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Mm. 
Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. As one of the uh, seniors for the Lady Scouts team, and unfortunately their game got canceled last night. Uh, Sherman was supposed to come over and play for senior night, but the game was canceled. And we're uh, talking to Jenna Butcher. And Jenna, you've been a kind of a mainstay when it comes to lady sports around the uh, Skyhawk uh, boundaries for the last four years. Your thoughts? Um, yeah, I play three different sports. Um, I've been part of every basketball, or every, I've been part of the basketball team for four years and the tennis team um, for four years and the volleyball team for four years. And I've excelled in all of them while my teams have excelled and it's been a fun ride and I hate that our game got canceled, but hopefully we'll be able to make it up sometime. This is probably going to be an easy question. What's your most memorable moment playing sports at Scott High? Definitely win the state championship in 2021 for tennis. What, uh, leading up to that, I mean, you know, everybody kept saying you had a pretty good shot at what, what was it like playing, you know, for that state championship? Uh, it was really nerve wracking. Um, going into it, I didn't get my freshman um, season, so I had no idea what was headed for me. Yeah, I took it match by match, and I kept winning and kept winning, and I finally hit the state finals. And it was really nerve wracking. You have the whole community behind you watching you, but I mean, they were going to be proud of me either way, so it was fun. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, normally you average, you know, seven, eight, ten points a game, but you had a game with Lincoln County here a couple of weeks ago, and you scored uh, like 42 points. What what was different about that game that you just came alive, and it was like you were just shooting the lights out of the basketball? Um, it was a really important game for our section. We really needed that game. Um, we had fell short to Logan by um, six points, and to have a chance to get in that three seed or something, um, we needed that win. We've been a little bit in a slump and shooting, so I mean, we just I just took the ball and I drove in, and luckily the rest were kind of on our side, and I was getting all kinds of fouls and was sent to the line a lot. Outside sports, what's maybe another favorite memory here at Scott High? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, most of my memories come from sports. I enjoy just hanging out with my friends, going to ball games and football games and stuff like that. So. Even though basketball's over, you still got one more sport to go, and that's going to be the tennis. I uh, presume what's your goal, to bring back that trophy once again? Yeah, it's definitely to win another state championship, but I want to soak it all in. Um, it's my, this is my last sport, so it's going to be a tough one. All right, Jenna, thank you very much, Jenna. But you're a senior uh, player on the ladies' basketball team and beginning for another state championship in tennis. We'll be back with more of our Parmar Stores halftime show after this. Walgreens Find Rx coverage is here to make Medicare easy. Even easier than those dances your grandkids love doing with okay, you. <laughs> Start Medicare shopping today with Walgreens Find Rx coverage. Plus, find low cost co pays. When you need to talk Medicare, Walgreens is here. <laughs> Walgreens. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen. To get to the bottom of a diagnosis. To teach. To care. When you choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health. We're bringing medicine home. Every year, the big banks raise their fees while reducing the services they provide. How do they get away with that? If you were to join Pioneer Community Bank, your money would stay right here, supporting a local business which results in lower fees and better customer service for you. Sounds like a plan. So you're not really stuck with the big banks and their policies. Keep your money where it belongs, right here with Pioneer Community Bank. Pioneer Community Bank with locations in Beckley, Jaeger, Sophia, Moore, and Welch. Member FDIC. You really can't get much for five bucks these days, unless... Is that a real song? I think she liked it. Your choice of sandwich plus all this for just five bucks is worth celebrating. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's Piggy Bank. Unlock the money already in your home at City National Bank. Consolidate loans or fund your next big project with a home equity line of credit with a great low intro rate. Visit your local branch to get started. City National Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Learn more at homeequity.bankitcity.com. 
WZAC FM, Danville, Madison. Welcome back to the Paul Mark Stores Halftime Show. Joining us now is Gracie Griggs, one of the senior members of the Scott Lady Scout team that unfortunately did not get to play their uh, senior night last night. Welcome to Allstate, where you can pay a little less and enjoy the ride a little more. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. At Little General Stores, we'll be there when you're ready. Even if you're returning home for the first time in years. That is why we offer the LG Rewards Card. That'll save you money on your favorite convenience store purchases. Or even get you free drinks or coffee allowing you the time to plan that perfect return. Go plan yours today, and when you need us, we'll be there. Thank you to those who serve, so the LG family can serve you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Nachos, better with Pepsi. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. Ah. So we'll let you go and spend a little time with your team. And uh, Gracie Griggs, one of the senior members of the Scott High Lady Skyhawks team. We'll be back with more of our Palmer Stores halftime show after this. You're listening to Scott High Basketball. Grandma! Walgreens Find Rx coverage is here to make Medicare easy. Even easier than those dances your grandkids love doing with okay, you. Start Medicare shopping today with Walgreens Find RX coverage. Plus, find low cost co pays. When you need to talk Medicare, Walgreens is here. <laughs> Walgreens. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, Care starts with us. Understanding by a score of 44 25 at the half. At least the pep band took a break. <laughs> we can hear ourselves now. Real quickly, leading in the first half, Ben Smith has 12 points for Sissonville. For the Skyhawks, Reese Carden has 23. Jay Sharps has nine. Uh, Lincoln Burnside has six. Starting off the second half, Sissonville inbounds the ball. They come to our left with the ball is Ben Smith. They'll send it around the horn. <clears throat> Back out to the top of the key to Ethan Taylor. Long three-point jumper, and it will go for number 20, Ben Smith. 44-28. Scott has the ball. Carden has it top of the key. Carden over to Setzer. Setzer hands off to Hunter Noll. Back to Setzer. Over to Jay Sharp. Sharps comes from the center circle. Over to the right wing. Back out to Carden. Reese has it at the top of the key. Over to Setzer. In the Lincoln Burnside. Burnside will turn and spin. And fouled by number 20 of Sissonville. Yeah, I think Lincoln uh, realized that uh, there was a matchup problem there. That he was yeah, figuring was, that kid. He just could started been, bumping, and the uh, kid went after him. Didn't have nowhere to go. Setzer thought about taking one at the top of the key. Setzer's ball is passes deflected, and it goes away for the Indians. It is number 11 that comes down and makes the two-pointer. Blake Fisher. Carden with another. Oh, my goodness gracious. 
Paul Carden shot that one from the restroom, picked up another three for the scout. I appreciate you giving Coach Carden a lot of <laughs> credit here, but Paul sitting on the bench over there. Carden, or uh, Reese is a little bit of the shot. Indians with the ball at the right wing. Back out to midcourt to Ethan Taylor. Taylor comes across, and they lose the handle on the ball, or the turnover will go to Scott in front of the Sissonville cheering section. No, inbounds to Setzer. Burnside has it. Setzer, Reese Carden fires off another three off the front of the iron. Rebound, Sissonville. Here come the Indians. Ethan Taylor with the ball. Top of the key, sends it across the floor. He drives in. And a whistle. And they're going to get that one on Lincoln Burnside. His first personal. He just went straight up, I thought. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. Nothing you can do about that. But at the free throw line is Ben Smith for the third time tonight. Shot is up, and he'll make the first one. Second shot is up, and it is good as well. Scott leads it, 47-32. Setzer has the ball for Scott. Over to Noel, top of the key. Back to Setzer. Setzer bounces it into Jay Sharps. Sharps will put it off the glass for two more. He now has 11. Here comes Sissonville with the ball. Number three once again, Evan Taylor, Ethan Taylor. They'll send it back out to the backcourt. To Taylor, back under the basket. And it is blocked from behind by Setzer. And Setzer will come up with the rebound. He'll bring the ball down the floor. He'll go all the way in, try to, and he'll get a foul. He tried to do a right-handed uh, layup off the glass. Charged on the foul will be number one, Wiseman. Be his first personal. And Isaac Setzer will go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Off the front of the iron, will not go. <clears throat> Setzer has no points in the game, but he's been definitely physically uh, active out there. Yeah, he has always got some uh, other stats besides points. He's <laughs> and he's got a point. He made that one. Definitely a glue that holds the team together. Yeah, yeah definitely. Cool. Indians had the ball. Around the horn, Smith sends it down into the corner. And they lose the ball, and Owens will come up with it to Sharps. And it will be Carden with the rebound, and Carden with two more points for Scott. He has five points here in the third quarter. And finally, number one, Wiseman will get a second bucket for. There you go. And to go. Bringing the ball all the way down the floor is Setzer. He has his first basket. Little tip in right underneath the basket. Sissonville with the ball, trying to make something, open something in the backcourt. Skyhawks lead it by 20, 54-34. 4.35 to go in the third quarter. Back and forth between the Indians. Number two fires off a three. It'll be off the back of the iron. And it'll be Setzer coming up the rebound. He's going to take it. He'll bounce it in to Sharps. It took a bad bounce, and it come into the hands of an Indian. And it, that shot come up short. Caden Clemens was fighting for it, and a whistle. I think they're going to say Scott had the ball. I think they, they called jump ball. Did they call it jump ball? Yeah. And Scott just had the I don't know how because I'm, nobody <laughs> nobody. Had the ball. I know it, ball was flying everywhere. Here comes Setzer with the ball. He'll cross the timeline. Setzer thought about firing one off at the top of the key. Back to Clemens. Back to Setzer. And they tried to bounce it into Clemens under the basket. A little bounce was a little hard. It went out of bounds. Turnover goes to the Indians. Bringing the ball down the floor is Taylor. And nice block by Owen Atkins into the hands of Isaac Setzer. Skyhawks get the ball back on the turnover. 
Reese Carden out to, between the circles. Over to Setzer. And a punch from behind of the ball. Indians come up with the ball. And it is number three coming up with the basket for the Indians. That's his first points of the ball game. Paul Carden takes the ball down. They called walking on Owen Atkins. Not sure I agree with that one, but the official was standing right there. Here come the Indians with the ball. Am I calling him Paul instead yeah, of Reese? you're calling him Paul. I'm sorry. And number 20 puts a little spin on it underneath the basket. He'll now have seven points here in the third quarter. Reese Carden has the ball. He'll be in the right wing. Sends it out to Owen Atkins. Fires off the three for the sky. They left him wide open, and he capitalized on that opportunity. He drilled it. Here come the Indians with the ball. Over to the right wing. Back out to... Taylor, Taylor back to the corner to Griffith. Griffith has the ball, gets it back out to Taylor, into the paint, back and forth around the horn. They're just trying to get somebody open. Finally, they get the shot off. Number one, Wiseman, and Sissonville will get the, the rebound. Wiseman gets the, gets the ball. It goes out of bounds, or he overshoots it underneath the ball. Finally, Scott knocks it out of bounds, so the Indians will retain control of the ball under their own basket. Sissonville will inbound. Thought about taking a corner shot. Now here comes number three. Passes over to the far side. Number one, Wiseman will take it. It will not go. Owen Adkins gets the rebound for Scott. Into the hand of Reese Carden. Back to Adkins. Down the floor. Setzer has it in the left wing. He'll put it in the hands of Caden Clemens. Clemens comes up. Second effort. And he'll get two more points. Yeah, Setzer was not uh, selfish there. He passed the ball. He could have had the shot, but he passed it to Clemens <laughs> and let him take a shot. Clemens finally got it. 59-38, 146 to go in the third. Three-point shot taken by Sissonville. Good job by Clemens. Now they finally called a foul over there on number one, Wiseman. I'm surprised they didn't That's call a least, ball. <laughs> yeah, really. That's at least second. Wiseman's second foul into the lineup for Scott is Loudon White. He'll inbound it to Carden. Reese Carden. Carden has the ball between the circles. He drives it into the paint. Kicks it back out to Tyler Walls. Walls' ball goes over the rim a couple places. Will not go. Sissonville comes up the rebound. Taylor brings the ball down. He'll fire off the three. It will be too hard and Lincoln Burnside will commit a foul from behind. Yeah, over the back, he was clearly over the back. He had his arms bent. They're going to call that every time. Yep. 113 to go in the third. Skyhawks up, 59-38. And it is Tanner Griffith at the free throw line. That's his first points of the ball game for Sissonville. Second free throw is up, and it is good as well. Two points for Griffith. 112 on the clock. Here comes Scott. Freeze Carden with the ball. Carden will come left. He'll get it into the hands of Lincoln Burnside. And Burnside, I don't know who he was passing to if he fought somebody. I think he lost it. Really. Under there. Goes out of bounds. Sissonville will get the ball. Bring the ball down for the Indians is Taylor. Taylor will drive it into the paint into Wiseman. Wiseman comes out. He'll take a 10-point jumper or a 10-foot jumper, and it will go for two more. He has four in the quarter. Carden has the ball, top of the key. Lost the ball. Carden gets it back, and then he loses the ball. And it will be number 11 losing the ball. Blake Fisher for Sissonville, <laughs> and Scott will get the ball. <laughs> Reese Carden brings the ball in from Burnside, 22 seconds on the clock. Burnside over to Walls, back to Carden. 10 seconds on the clock. 
by the 10 foot, 12 foot jumper. Carden picks up two more. S7 here in the quarter. And a long shot taken by Sissonville. We're at the end of the third quarter where the Skyhawks lead this one by a score of 61 42. We'll take a one minute break here on the Skyhawk Sports Network. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen. To get to the bottom of a diagnosis. To teach. To care. You choose Boone. You choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health, we're bringing medicine home. I'm the captain of the Pee Wee football team. We may be small, but we are mighty annoying. And you are so tired from playing defense against us that your focus is about to ride the bench. Go, go, go. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Come on, come on. And if you have cut rate car insurance, then not even a Hail Mary will save you from paying for this. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Awesome. In the Skyhawk Sports Network. Back at the Hawks Nest, Skyhawks lead it after three by a score of 61 42 over the Sissonville Indians. And Skyhawks uh, wasn't quite on the pace they were in the quarters in the first half. Yeah, they were sloppy. They were throwing the ball all over the place. Couldn't get any open looks. A lot of contested shots. Let's see if they can change it in the fourth quarter. To begin the quarter, Sissonville will inbound here at the main entrance to the floor of the gym. They'll bring it down. They'll try a three-pointer by number two, Griffith. It will go out of bounds off the back of the iron. And Scott will get the, get the ball. Jay Sharps will inbound to Setzer. Setzer brings the ball down the floor. Setzer drives it into the paint. Oh, they're going to get a blocking foul on number 20. Ben Smith, that's at least his second. It looked like he was backstepping, and anytime you're moving backwards, you're going to get that call. If he'd have kept his feet, that would have. Well, they called. keep blocking Scott players from going to the rim. Oh, yeah. So Setzer just decided to take advantage of the situation. Now we have Carden down uh, mopping up some, uh, I guess, perspiration off the floor. Apparently the flood warning for Boone County is still in effect till 1 a.m. now. I don't know where they're getting all this from. I guess the little coal was, the big coal was not crested yet maybe. I'm not sure. Sharps looking to inbound. And uh, they'll send in the ball. Setzer comes up with it. Back out to Hunter Noll. He'll fire off a three. In and out will not go. Caden Clemens comes up with the rebound. How do you get a jump ball out of that? He was all over Caden Clemens. He's got he was poked. And else. He was prodded. And they call a daggone jump ball on that. Golly, Ned. You'll see the instant replay on video productions. But they were all over Caden Clemens. And he's still... Down on the floor, he got poked in the eye or something. He's he's hurt. He's I mean, pulled he, his hands down. And go yeah, ahead. he was just uh, had the ball and trying to make a shot, trying to pivot, make a shot, and they were all over him. Yeah, really. I mean, there was two of them over, and they call a jump ball. Woo! Sometimes I think the refs just want to speed up the game and not call <laughs> fouls. 7.26 to go in the ballgame. Scouts lead this one 61-42. Scott, I don't know how, but Scott still has the ball. Reese Carton from the corner off the iron will not go. Hunter Noll gets it, puts it in the hands of Jay Sharps. Sharps floats one up. He'll get two more for the Scouts. Yeah, Jay Sharps, he just kept going towards the basket and made his way in a floater there. And a jumper, long jumper by, taken by Sissonville will not go. Rebound by Burnside. Sharps from the corner. It'll be short off the iron. Rebound by the Indians. Here comes Taylor with it. He'll get one off the glass for two more for Sissonville. Sets her with the ball. Bounces it in to Setzer. Carden. Carden's got two more off the glass. And one. 
He'll go to the free throw line. Did you see who the foul was on? Uh, I think number 20. Well, he's got three if it's on 20. Harden now has a bunch of points in this ball game. Short and it's rebounded by Null into the hands of Jay Sharp or Jay Jaden Sharps. Tries to get one three and he's fouled. Watch the official and it will be number 20. Commits that one as well. I've got him down for four fouls. Jay Sharps will shoot two. First free throw is good. 66-44, 6.36 to go in the ball game. Jay Sharps second shot is up and it will go as well. Inbounding the ball is the Indians. Cross midcourt, Wiseman. A correction, Evans. Evan gets it into the hands of Taylor. Taylor will go back out near the center circle for the Indians. Back and forth to Taylor. It is deflected by Sharp. So he'll get it back in the hands of Smith. Driving to the paint and getting the basket is Ben Smith. He'll pick up two. Jay Sharps has the ball down at the other end for Scott. Back up. To Carden, he thought about it. They'll drive it into the paint. Over to Jay Sharp from the corner for three. It'll be short. And the Indians will come up with the ball. And Ben Smith will pick up two more. But a foul charged against Setzer. Was Setzer on the end with him? Down? Yeah, he's the one that got it. I don't know how. He come from behind and just... Tapped him on the hand. Setzer has two fouls. And number three, Taylor, picked up three points on that one. He picked up the free throw. Scott has it. Carden fires one off from the top of the key. Three more points for Reese Carden. He's got about 30 points in the game. I'll just put it that way. Long shot from the far corner. Sissonville will come up the rebound. And a late whistle, and they'll get Burnside with a foul. That's his third personal. Coach Bauer just talked to him about getting his hands straight up and not leaning forward. <laughs> no, he was leaning forward. Yeah, he was definitely <laughs> leaning forward. On he was all over him. Going to the free throw line will be Evan Taylor. He is 0 for 2 from the free throw line. He'll get two shots. First shot is up, and it is good. That's his first point of the ball game. Second basket is up, and it is no good. And they're going to say the ball was out of bounds on Scott. Yeah, they were. Setzer and uh, Burnside was going after the ball Five together. Yep. <laughs> Knocked out of each other's hands. Sissonville will try to inbound it. Oh, I've never seen him go around somebody like that. Put his arm down. Three-point shot taken by Ben Smith. Surprised they didn't call Cardin on a foul on yeah. that one. It may have been. <laughs> kind of put a shoulder in it. Sissonville takes a shot. Setzer's got it, and I don't think he's going to stop. Reese Carden, two more off the glass. You find him everywhere, underneath the basket. He is out here. He's like Santa Claus. He's everywhere. Here comes the Indians with the ball. Smith has it down in the left corner. They get it underneath the basket. Finally send it outside to Taylor, back across the floor to Smith. Underneath the basket, no foul. I'm surprised. Carden has it. He'll send it back over to Carden or Sharps. Back out to Carden in the left wing. Carden fires off a three. Off the front of the iron, it will not go. Rebound. Evans for the Indians. 
and a three-pointer by Wiseman from the far corner. Score is 72-53. Setzer has it between the circles. Gets it into the hand of Carden. Back to Setzer. Setzer saved it somehow. Setzer in the right corner with the ball. Hunter Noll has it. Noll goes up. He'll pick up two points. He has four points in the ball game. Number one takes a long shot off the back of the iron. Noll gets the rebound. Down the floor, it's deflected off the Indian player. I bet uh, Isaac Sessler had threw about 50 mile an hour on that yeah. basketball. And we have a timeout on the floor with 3.24 to go as I think he's going to take uh, some of his players out of the game. Checking in is Cole Elkins. Land, Loudon White. And a couple other Skyhawks. Austin Shelton is in. Owens is up for two more. He just pushed his on. How do you call a foul on somebody that's moving backwards and somebody takes a forearm to you? But they did it. It'll be Sissonville's ball. Here's the instant replay on Little General from Video Productions. You saw it there. Sissonville will inbound it. 3.08 to go in the ball game. Indians. Indians lose the ball on the pass. Goes out of bounds. Scott will inbound it. Cole Elkins will inbound it to Loudon White. Back to Elkins. And he loses the ball going to the basket. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Sissonville Indian basketball. 2.55 to go in the game. Skyhawks lead at 76-53. Get the jumper is number 10. Evan Taylor will not go. Owen Atkins will come up with the rebound. Here comes Loudon White with the ball. Drives it into the paint. And he overthrew. Tyler Rawls down in the right corner. It goes out of bounds. Ball goes back to the Indians. Final game of the season for the Skyhawks. Next game will be sectional play in about a week. And the shot is deflected. Cole Elkins comes up with the ball. Adkins takes it over to White in the corner to Elkins. He'll get the shot. And he gets drilled in front of the Scott bench by number 44. That's at least his second foul. Here's instant replay on video productions. And he just got drilled down there in the right corner as Elkins will go to the free throw line to shoot. Elkins first shot, no good off the front of the iron. Second shot is good. That'll be his first point of the ball game. He'll get a third shot because he was shooting a a (laughs) three-pointer. Shot is up and good. He gets two of the three. Here comes Sissonville with the ball. Blake Thompson has it. And off the back of the glass, number 23, John Burke, he'll pick up two points for the Indians. White with the ball for Scott. 159 to go in the game. Over to Austin Shelton. Back over to White in the far corner. Cole Elkins, he'll fire off the three. It'll be off the front of the iron. Rebound, Peanut. Brown, it goes out of bounds, and they're saying it's Scott Scott basketball. I think Scott might have got a good call on that one yeah. <laughs> for change. White inbounds it. Back out to Austin Sheldon. Sheldon at the top of the key. 
and he took a couple shot steps. They're going to call him for traveling, and the turnover will go to the Indians. But when you're pinned in, you got your legs the way you can't move them. Yeah, you couldn't get the ball on the ground. Here come the Indians with the ball across midcourt. And they'll bounce pass it in to the big boy. He will not make it go. Number 44, Michael Taylor. Skiles come up the ball. Here comes Shelton with the ball. Oh, and he grabbed him and held him, and there was no daggone whistle. I mean, he literally held him. I think they're at the time run out. 120 to go in the ball game. But I mean, he held him with his hands. A couple more of Skyhawks yeah. checking the game. Jeremiah Workman, number 30. Shelton has the ball. Aim back to Elkins. Over to Allen. Jump ball. Jump ball. Come on, Should have been 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Jump ball between uh, Skyhawk. I think they called a foul. And they're going to call a foul. I just expected him to call a jump ball. On number 44, Michael Taylor. That's at least his third. He's going all the way to the coach of Sissonville to explain what was going on. And Peanut Brown will go to the free throw line. First shot is off the front of the iron. It will not go. Rebound to the Indians. Ball punched, knocked out. Indians come back up with it. From the corner, number 24. And Scott, Peanut Brown, will come up the rebound. Cole Elkins with the ball. Austin Shelton will fire off the three, off the iron. And it will bounce up to the top of the backboard. And the officials will blow the whistle. It will not count. 39 seconds to go in the ball game. Skyhawks up 78-55. Indians with the ball from the corner. And number 44, Taylor takes a shot. Scott comes up the rebound. They're just trying to run out the clock. Austin Shelton with the ball on the right wing. He's just trying to keep the ball in the backcourt. 14 seconds. Skyhawks just passed the ball around. Skyhawks will win it. 78 to 55. We'll step aside for a two minute break. We'll be back to break down the scoring from the ball game after this. Final score, Scott Skyhawks 78. Sissonville Indians 55. You're listening and watching Scott Scout Basketball on WZAC, the Scout Sports Network, and video production. Grandma! Walgreens Find RX coverage is here to make Medicare easy. Even easier than those dances your grandkids love doing with okay, you. <laughs> Start Medicare shopping today with Walgreens Find RX coverage. Plus, find low-cost co-pays. When you need to talk Medicare, Walgreens is here. <laughs> Walgreens. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen to get to the bottom of a diagnosis, to teach, to care. You choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health, we're bringing medicine home. Every year, the big banks raise their fees while reducing the services they provide. How do they get away with that? If you were to join Pioneer Community Bank, your money would stay right here, supporting a local business which results in lower fees and better customer service for you. Sounds like a plan. So you're not really stuck with the big banks and their policies. Keep your money where it belongs, right here with Pioneer Community Bank. Pioneer Community Bank with locations in Beckley, Jaeger, Sophia, Moore, and Welch. Member FDIC. You really can't get much for five bucks these days, unless... 
Is that a real song? I think she liked it. Your choice of sandwich plus all this for just five bucks is worth celebrating. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's Piggy Bank. Unlock the money already in your home at City National Bank. Consolidate loans or fund your next big project with a home equity line of credit with a great low intro rate. Visit your local branch to get started. City National Bank, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Learn more at homeequity.bankitcity.com. Knocked off the Sissonville Indians by a score of 78-55. Joining me now is the head coach of the Skyhawks, Coach Sean Ballard. And Coach, uh, pretty good basketball game up from your team tonight. Yeah, we played well. We shot the ball well, moved the ball well. Defensively, we guarded it. Um, you know, came out and executed and played pretty good. It was good to see uh, Reese Carden back to his old style of basketball tonight. I got him down for 37 points. That must mean a lot to your team, just trying to get him to click. And at this point in the season, last regular season game, right before you get ready to go into the sectionals. Yeah, it's, it's good for him to, you know, it's good for his confidence. I mean, we all know what kind of player he is. You know, like I said, I, I think a lot of his thing when he came back from injury was just the timing. It was in that stretch where we played seven games in 14 days. And, you know, that's when you don't do anything for three weeks, I don't care what kind of athlete you are. You, you play seven games in 14 days, you're going you're gonna to have some residual fatigue. So it's been good to have games spaced out a little more, let him get rested up, and uh, and not only shooting it better tonight, but he's been moving better well. Yeah, gotta, so that's a big thing. you got to talk about Isaac Sess as well. Setzer didn't have uh, a lot of points. Matter of fact, I've only got him for three points. But he was a heck of a ball on the board tonight. Uh, yeah, your team. yeah, I mean, he, I'm sure we get the stats back. I mean, that's a typical stat line for him. He, three points on two field goal attempts and probably 12 assists and 12 rebounds and four steals and a handful of deflections. I mean, like we talked about before the game, a lot of his stuff doesn't show up in your scorebook, but, I mean, he, he, he makes us go. You know, he understands the game. He understands his teammates' strengths, real high basketball IQ, and, you know, just a great, great player. You played a lot of players tonight, even there at the end of the game. You you pulled some of your kids off the bench and so forth. What does that do to the mentality of these boys to get their confidence level up as you move on to sectionals? Yeah, you know, we, we need to have some depth. You know, I think if you look at our shooting by quarter over the season, you know, we've shot it really well to – to start games, second, third quarter, and fourth quarter, we, we've had a drop off in our field goal percentage. And I think some of that's due to our depth. And, you know, we trust these guys to come in and make some plays and guard the ball the way we want it to be guarded. And so hopefully, you know, having some success will get, give, them some, give them some confidence going forward when we ask them to step in. Any surprises from your team tonight? I mean, I, I, just, I just thought all of our seniors did a really good job of, you know, sometimes with, with all the senior night celebrations and stuff, it's easy to, to get caught up in all that and then not be focused whenever it's game time. You know, they came out, they competed, they focused between the lines once the game got going and, 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 and had an enjoyable game. You know, sometimes, sometimes you get distracted and get away from playing your style of basketball in these, in these senior night games, and they didn't do that tonight. So I, I thought it was a great game for them to go out on. Coach, congratulations on the win. Go out and get this team ready for sectionals, wherever they may land yep. uh, about a week from now, and we'll go from there. Yep, got a lot of work to do, but we're excited to get in here next week and get after it. All right, Coach Sean Ballard, uh, head coach of the boys' uh, basketball team on the victory tonight, 78-55. We'll step aside after a two-minute break. We'll have some stats from tonight's ball game after this. You're listening and watching Scott Skyhawk Basketball on WZAC, the Skyhawk Sports Network, and video productions. Great things are happening. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. As primary care providers, care starts with us. Understanding patients' health concerns is the first step in great care. We take our responsibilities seriously. To listen. To get to the bottom of a diagnosis. To teach. To care. When you choose Boone, you choose the start to a healthier life. Make the choice today. Boone Memorial Health. We're bringing medicine home. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. I'm your football-obsessed best man, and I think you having your big day during the big game is the worst. 
What are you kidding me? Physically, I'm right here. But mentally, I'm here. Yeah, I do. Come on, speed it up. When all eyes are on you, my eyes are glued to the game. <laughs> Touchdown, yeah! <laughs> and if you didn't bundle your home and auto insurance with all of this, this could be tough to tackle. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem. <laughs> like me. You have a goal. You know what you want. Start with us. New River Community and Technical College, your community college. Take classes online or in a classroom in Beaver, Lewisburg, Summersville, or Princeton. Or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs. Find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal. It's closer than you think when you start with us. New River Community and Technical College. Apply today. Back to the action with the Scott Skyhawks on Z92. Back at the Hawks Nest where the Skyhawks knocked off the Sissonville Indians tonight by a score of 78-55. And let's take a look at some scoring from the Sissonville Indians. Andrew. Yeah, Sissonville, they got a lot of good uh, talent on that team and they got a lo lot to look forward to. But uh, starting off with uh, Jake Wiseman, he had 14. Uh, Ethan Taylor had six. Um, Blake Fisher had two. Ben Smith had 17. That was their leading scorer there. And then uh, Michael Taylor, the whole Taylor family in the, <laughs> was, here tonight. was here tonight. Anyway, uh, scoring for the Skyhawks, uh, Lincoln Burnside, senior, come off the bench with six points. Caden Clemens had uh, actually had four points. I had him down for two, but I see another one there. Had four points. Isaac Setzer had a heck of a ball game, but only came up with three points. Uh, uh, Owen Atkins come off the bench for Scott tonight, had nine points. Hunter Knoll had four points for the Skyhawks. Uh, Jay Sharps, who had the start, had 15 points. But the leading scorer for the Scott Skyhawks tonight, Reese Carden, back in his uh, <laughs> fashion of playing and scoring points, 37 points for the Skyhawks tonight. That's good because, you know, just like we've talked about all night, sectionals is next week. He's getting hot, getting ready for, uh, and that's the most important part. Regular season is just practice for the sectionals. Anyway, now we've got to name a player of the game, and I'm going to give you the nomination for the first uh, first go round. Oh, absolutely. I think it's pretty uh, obvious. I always, you know, like to point out a few guys that uh, that uh, played hard out there. Uh, Isaiah Se Isaac Setzer. Is uh, you know he played hard. He didn't have a lot of points. I said he's the glue of the team, and he is. He's always got the ball. He's making good passes. Got his head in the game, and he he had a wonderful game. Uh, Caden Clemens, he was he was pretty decent underneath. Um, Lincoln Burnside, he played hard as well. But I think with uh, 37 points and back uh, hitting the hitting the threes is Reese Carden. That's my nominee. Uh, I would I would second that nomination, but I've also got to give a nomination to Isaac Setzer. I mean, that boy was all over the floor tonight. I mean, played his heart out. He, you know, on the boards, he was there on the rebounds, offensive, defensive rebounds, moving the ball up and down the floor, definitely there. So I, I'm going to give him a co-player tonight to, uh, to Reese Carden for scoring 37 uh, points and Isaac Setzer uh, for the uh, hard work moving the ball around on the floor tonight. That's pretty much going to wrap up our coverage for tonight from Video Productions. I want to th say a thank you uh, tonight to on-site staff Jason uh, Frame and Hayden Cart. Uh, Bobby Brown over to WZAC Studios. Andrew Lindell, it's always great to have you come by and join us on a broadcast. And that's pretty much going to wrap up our coverage tonight. Any final thoughts? Uh, just keep the uh, fans get ready for next week. Sections <laughs> is coming up. Yeah, come and, out and show your pride. Yeah, it'll be you know probably Scott or Logan at one or two or you know vice versa. And the the, the fight will be who gets home home court advantage. That'll be the, the fight of the week in this section. Absolutely. That's going to wrap up our coverage here tonight from the Hawks Nest. Final score, Scott, 78, Sissonville Indians, 55. For the entire WZAC and video productions crew, I'm Joe Linville. Good night, everyone. <laughs>